Hi again and welcome to this Unity tutorial. So there are actually two main perspectives where you can capture the screen. The first option is to use the in-game camera. In my case it's this, uh, car, this camera that follows the car. The other option is to use a flying camera which you can control just as you edit the camera and you can set it up wherever you want, even in the sky. Press the button and the screenshot is saved automatically where I set it to be. If you look in the description you can see that I already pre-made the scripts for you guys. So how to get this working? To start off make a new C-sharp script and call it take screenshot. Make sure to type this right. Copy the script from the video description below and paste it in this new script you made. Attach the script to the camera you want to use. If you want to take screenshots with the in-game camera, make sure to uncheck controllable. If you use a flying camera and you want to control it, be sure to check this box. The move speed is only used when controllable is checked. This means the moving speed of the camera. So if you set this higher, the camera will move faster. The resolution depends on your game window. If this number is set to 1, the image will be saved in the same resolution as your game window. When set to 2, the saved image will be twice as large as the game window. And you guess it for the 3rd, the 5th and the other ones. Image name is just the name for the screenshot. The index number is added automatically in the script. Custom path. When you leave this field blank, the script will save the images in your project folder. You can also define your own path to a specific folder. If the folder doesn't exist, the folder will be made automatically. When you made some screenshots, the index of the images will just add up. If you want to reset it to zero, check this box, but don't forget to uncheck it again. Otherwise, all your screenshots will be overridden. So, I think this is most of, most of the important stuff for you guys to know. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Also subscribe to this channel to get the upcoming tutorials. I also have a Facebook page where I post updates about my Unity projects. So if you're interested, please take a look. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tutorial and I'll see you again. Bye guys.